All right, it is, my phone works. 11.32, the meeting will come back to order. Um, quick announcement, those who are signed up with Dr. Adams to be on the committee discussing uh, instructions to Hugo administrators on nominee diversity, you will meet in this room an hour after uh, the conclusion of this meeting to give you some time to get lunch and such. All right, the next item of business for us is A.5, electronic signatures. That starts on the bottom of page five of your agendas. Um, Ms. Neal, I think you're the maker of the original motion. Would you like to make a speech in favor? There is uh, 10 minutes of debate for this. My name is Terry Neal and I made uh, the original of this last year. Um, most of it is a suggestion to the city, seated committee to allow electronic signatures for site selection ballots um, with a direction that even if you do allow electronic signatures for site selection ballots at your discretion, that you also must offer um, paper as well. Uh, this, w many of our site selections uh, coming up are going to be international. Um, it's very difficult to deal with paper internationally and it's also been uh, problematic uh, up to now um, dealing with signatures. So this is a note from the business meeting to seated world cons and bids that it is acceptable to those of us uh, in the business meeting that they do indeed pursue electronic signatures if all parties agree. Is there anyone wishing to speak against the motion? Ms. Dashoff. This is actually a point of information. Please come to the microphone. You telling your mother what to do? Yes. Yes, I am. Ms. Dashoff, the elder. There's no younger ones. Go on. I can only hope. <laughs> Hi. I was the site selection, oh, sorry, Joni Brill Dashoff. Um, no relation to the, oh, shit, never mind. <laughs> um, I was the site selection administrator for last year when we posted the, we will not accept the Adobe electronic signature. It was because of a computer glitch. Literally, when they post, tried to attach that signature into the ballot, I could see everything on the screen, and when I went to print it, all I would get was the signature. So if we didn't ban electronic signature, we banned a particular application for failure for it to do what is required. Right. Mr. Stanley, for what purpose does the member rise? I'm done. <laughs> I, I'm going to count that as a speech against. Yes, never mind. That was what I was about to say. <laughs> uh, is there someone wishing to speak in favor of the motion? Ms. Secor, as the other maker of the motion. Hi, everybody. I'm Kate Secor, and I am the uh, deputy site selection head for this year. There is enormous desire from the membership for us to do this. Just overwhelmingly the number of people who are like, why can't I just do this online like everything else? The thing that I like about this particular motion is that it doesn't force us to do it right away. It provides the ability to do it if everybody involved agrees to it, which means that if people have concerns, we're not going to do it. But we can tell the membership, well, we're working on it. We're getting there. I think that there's enough desire to do it that if we don't pass something relatively quickly, site selection administrators will find themselves backed into some really ugly corners by the membership yelling at them for not doing it. So if we pass this, they have an excuse to say, well, I could do it. Here are all the people that you have to convince that this is also a good idea for us to be able to. Thank you. Is there someone wishing to speak against? Ms. Sullivan. What, Ms. Secor? Jerry Sullivan. 
What Ms. Secourt just recommended would put the strain off the site selection administrator onto the bids who have a really strong reason to not want any of this information public or known at all beyond the site selection administrator. Um, I, I mean, even site selection, it's like the way it works and I'm now getting all flustered. Um, basically, all of the arguments that have ever been made before and a lot of other people make them of why site selection needs to not be done electronically still stand. And if you do it of, oh, well, if you go convince the bids, then suddenly a bid is going to be damaged because they weren't willing to do site selection electronically rather than it being, you know, the world con going the, no, it is really, really important that we protect the anonymity of the site selection votes. Um, so, done. Mr. Buff, for what purpose does the speech in Warren Buff, last year at site selection, I was concerned that we were using electronic means of voting, uh, but I was told that no, the means were not electronic means, and thus my committee was never given the chance to consent or not consent. I don't actually know how my committee would have voted. Uh, I think this makes it clear that we will, that we consider electronic signatures and the means around them to be a matter that the bids need to agree on along with the administering convention. And in that regard, I think this clarifies what should have been the position in the first place. Thank you. Is there a speech against? Cliff. Me. Cliff Dunn. I'm opposed to this because I'm concerned this will lead to, frankly, a flood of votes from people who have, at most, a very, very passing exposure to any bids. I'm, concer I'm concerned, basically, that we're, we're going to get we're going to get flooded with outsiders, and that it makes it easy to pull a Hugo-style voting flood that is much trickier to to engage in now. It, it's far too easy to envision a well-financed bid turning around and saying, well, if you've already got your dues for this year, we'll go ahead and cover the cost of your dues, dues for the incoming con and basically buy a con, which is something that I, you know, I don't see that happening now. Thank you. It, yep. I unfortunately don't know here. Ari Goldstein, a um, couple things. First, to respond to the uh, former speaker's uh, point about a voting flood, I'd like to point out that you can do that even now. You just have to spend a lot of stamps. Um, beyond that, and so I don't really find that argument horribly compelling. Furthermore, um, as laws just outside of us and in the rest of the world start evolving, we're going to come very close to the point where uh, there are countries and municipalities and jurisdictions that are starting to require the ability to electronically sign things. They're, 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 they're not out there yet, but there's a, they're, they're on ballots and, they're on, and there's a lot of legislatures considering them. And so I think that as an organization, we should get out in front of that. Plus the fact that, yeah, everybody wants it. I know that when I, when I first started voting, I'm like, really, I have to use paper? Are you kidding me? What is, what is this, the 20th century? Seriously? So um, that's why I believe that um, as an organization, being progressive, especially given who and what we are, is kind of what we do. Is there a Mr. McCarty, speech against? That was a speech in favor. Yeah. I am Dave McCarty. Uh, I'm forced to just take a moment to uh, point out some disingenuousness. If it's if paper is too much, it can't be both too much of a burden and not and not a burden. Um, if Sorry, I'll go to what I was going to say. Um, the the motion won't da this motion won't damage things it's, as long as everybody agrees. However, I think that it is uh, for anybody who's ever been in charge of a bid a passionate thing about protecting the anonymity of these votes. And I think that the general population has no care for that, and that's fine. They shouldn't worry their pretty little heads about it. But this is important to us because it destroys friendships and lifelong, people that are lifelong friends 
will no longer be able to speak to each other and that is horrible for us to do. I think that this motion 